Hey guys, it's QB Maniac here, and today I have my mains and goals for Puget Sound Fall 2018. Listen. So I know this video is pretty dang late. The competition is just in two days, but I just haven't had time to make these videos. But yeah, I have finally sat down and decided to make it. As you can see, I haven't been able to post recently. I have posted a video around one or two days ago, but that's it. Before that, I had to post it for around two or three weeks. But that's because I've been getting a lot of set, a lot of things set up. Like I have new saw box lighting, a bunch of new equipment. I've been moving my setup uh, lots of times, but finally I can sit down and make a video. So let's just jump right into it. So starting off with square one, I used to be pretty decent with square one, but I'm pretty trash now. I'm expecting around a sub 50 average and maybe a sub 45 single. Not too great, but a pretty decent for me. And my main is this Chi E, uh, regular Chi. It is, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's that mod where you uh, prevent stripping. But yeah, that's I have that mod done, and yeah, I haven't done anything too special to this, but I still like it. Um, and if I, I forgot to tell you guys that the events I'm doing, I'm doing square one, I'm doing four by four, seven by seven, and one handed. The weird thing is, there's no three by at this competition, uh, but the other thing that the other event that's at this competition is clock. And I've been also been to a competition in five or six months, so it's something pretty interesting going back there. So yeah, let's move on to the next event. So for 4x4, my 4x4 is the Cubicle Wu Chui M. I'm expecting around a sub 55 average, maybe a sub uh, 50 single or sub 48 single, something like that. Not too great at 4x4 too, but I'm hoping to make round two. I'm pretty sure there's three rounds. Um, yeah. But there's nothing too much to say about 4x4. Uh, I've been improving very, very slowly, but yeah, I've been improving. So let's move on to 7x7 seven seven now. So for 7x7, seven seven, it's a pretty interesting story. I actually broke one of my pieces. As you can see right there, it's kind of tilted. Um, it's actually super glued to the other piece because it just snapped. Uh, as, as you guys probably know, Wujis are pretty infamous for stamping. This is actually a Wuji M. But I was just hoping to see if any of you guys that are going to this competition, I could probably barter your 7x7. Um, if you let me barter your 7x7, it'd be great. Uh, please tell me in the comments below because I um, it's, it's not great with this. It, it locks up a lot and there's always uh, a constant fear for it breaking again or just popping out. So tell me if you, I'm able to borrow yours. If I can, then I'll just work with what I have. But if um, I get a uh, uh, 7x7 or if I use a 7x7, it, Oh, I'll probably get around. I don't really know what I average anymore. I've been practicing seven by seven, but I'm I'm saying I think a sub four sing sub four single sub four thirty average or some four four thirty mean. I don't really know anything about it. So yeah, let's move on to the last event, which is one handed. So for one handed, I've actually been practicing. Um, I'm actually the saddest event in my opinion. Um, I'm hoping for a sub 28, sub 26 average, uh, or and a uh, sub 22 single. I'm hoping. I've been working forever to get that sub 20 single one handed, but it's just not happening. But if it happens, uh, uh, it'd be very nice. So yeah, that's around it for this video, guys. I know I haven't been posting recently, but I'm I'm working on it. But yeah, that's it for this video, and expect a cinematic video once uh, I come back from the competition because I plan on doing that. Um, so yeah, that was it for this video, guys. See you next. See you in the next one. Bye.